All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, back at you again with another lesson. And uh, this is going to be to the point. It's going to be it's going to be a little short. And uh, what I have here is uh, First Thessalonians, uh, the fourth chapter. All right. And uh, this is Paul speaking and giving warning, you know, uh, so that, you know, the men of the Lord can walk in the right way. All right. To see salvation, you know, and the same thing as our apostles and elders are doing. You know, making sure they're looking out for the flock and making sure brothers grow correctly. You know, one thing I've learned, um, you know, from my mom, you know, my mama dukes and shit when I was young was uh, she was in, into a lot of plants. And uh, one thing she did with her plants, she, uh, she trimmed the plants. She used to cut the limbs off of the side of the plant. And when I was young, I didn't understand it. I used to be like, Mom, why 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 are you, you know, messing up a good flower? And she used to say, you know, so it could grow stronger. And as I was little, I didn't understand it. But as I got older and, and being in this truth, I truly understand what that is. Alright? She was cutting off, you know, certain uh uh sides of the plant and trimming it down, you know, so that it could grow stronger. And according to this truth, you know, we all have to uh, grow to be stronger, you know, so you have to cut certain things out, you know, and us being this truth, our, our job is to strive for our mastery, to strive for perfection, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so, you know, there's a um, purge, you know, within the body, all right, and, um, you know, us brothers, we got to uh, make sure we on point, you know, and uh, that's a good thing, man, you know, I see it, I myself, as a good thing, you know, because we all need uh, to be sharpened, you know, so this is a uh, because you know, we need to grow and it's truth If you're not growing then something's then something is wrong All right, so this is first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 1 furthermore Then we then we proceed excuse me Furthermore then we beseech you brethren and exhort you by the Lord Yahweh Shai That as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please the Most High, so ye would abound more and more. All right, so our job as us brothers waking up and being called into this truth, it's our job to please the Most High, okay? It says um, that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please the Most High, so ye would abound more and more, all right? and um. I have went into this word abound, you know, and uh, and I got some beautiful definitions, man. All right, now here's the Greek word. Strong's G, 4052. Perisuo. Perisuo. Perisuo, all right. Now it says um, to exceed a fixed number of measure. To be left over and above a certain number of, or measure. Okay? I'm going to read that again. To exceed a fixed number of measure. To be left over and above a certain number or measure. To be over, to remain. Alright? So we want to remain what? In the truth. We want to remain following Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. With spirit and truth. Okay? It says to be over, to remain to exist or be at hand in abundance to be great abundant all right so one job for us is also to be great you know when you read in um uh the second address uh, the most high spoke about how he he kept a cluster of great to himself of great men you know if we called in his truth then we're called uh in his truth to to become what great men of yahweh bashim yahweh Shai. all right it says to exist or be at hand in abundance to be great abundant a thing which comes in abundance or overflows unto one something falls to something falls to the lot of one in large measure to redound unto 
turn out abundantly for a thing. All right, to abound, overflow. So we want to overflow in the truth and good deeds and pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Doing what the Lord asked us to do, and that's to prophesy, man. All right, exercise, uh, excuse me, uh, exhort his name, you know, prophesy and tell the transgressions of our people and what they've done against the Most High and his loss. All right, it says, um, it says to be abundantly furnished with. All right, we want to be furnished. A house that's not furnished is an empty house. All right. So the Most High is furnishing our house by, by, uh, by purifying us, man. To be abundantly furnished with, to have an abundance, abound in a thing, to be an affluence. All right? So you want to be of a good influence, you know? And that takes, that takes you to, be, uh, to strive for greatness, man, to be great. It says to, pre to, to be preeminent, to excel, all right? So we need to excel in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? To, ex to excel more than exceed, to make, to abound, to furnish one richly so that he has abundance. Alright? And uh, going back to the to the uh you know the story of, you know, like I said in the beginning of the video, you know, when you purge a plant, you know, you're making that plant. You know, to be one furnished and rich, you know, in, in the richness of his seed. So that what? So that he has abundance, so that it can grow excellent, man. You know, and it can grow in his right state. You know, you water it and things of that nature, you nourish it, but you also have to purge it. It says to make abundant or excellent. All right. Now, here's the, you know, my last definition for abounding. It says abounding is used of a flower going from a bud to full bloom and that went right along with with uh you know what i experienced you know by growing up and using that scenario it says abund abounding to use of a flower going from a bud to full bloom so it's all about us growing in the truth all right so that you can be that full bloom bloom flower and it's excellent, man. And it's excellency. You know, and that's what the Lord has given us, man. He's allowing us in the flesh, all right, to rehearse the righteous acts. Because eventually the Lord is going to give us the spirit. He's going to make us that perfect creature, all right, in which he intended us to be. And right now we're striving to be because we all sinned against our Heavenly Father. You know, we all uh, uh, deserve, um, you know, to be purged, you know, and to be tried and made white. If the Lord's will, you know, all right. So let me get back to the scripture. It says, furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord, Yahweh Shai, that as ye have received of us, how ye ought to walk and to please the most high. So ye would abound more and more so we can grow more and more. Be excellent more and more. OK, verse two. For ye know that commandments we gave you by the Lord Yahweh Shai, for this is the will of the Most High, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. And we know what fornication is. It means all unlawful sex. All right. Adultery. That's all up in there, man. It says uh, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. Meaning we have you have to uh you know you have to rule over your own house, man. You have to control your, your spirit. Alright? Refrain from your appetites. You know, and that goes a long way. Not just sex with a woman, but the 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 the, the weakness in your flesh, you know, your feelings, your emotions. Alright. It says, For this is the will of Yahweh, even your sanctification, that ye shall abstain from fornication that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor not in the lust of concupiscence even as the gentiles which know not the most high all right that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter because that the lord is the avenger of all such 
as we also have forewarned you and testified. For the Most High have not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. So the job is to work on uh, becoming holiness, man. All right? Holiness, perfect. It says, He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but the Most High, who have also given unto us the Holy Spirit. Rakakodash. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of the Most High to love one another. All right, and you know that's 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 basically the point, man. You know, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the point. I told y'all just make this video quick and uh, sharp to the point. Uh, uh, Lord's willing, this lesson will be edifying to those of the whole four elect. You know, uh, one thing you know we ask the Lord to do is to help you grow in the truth. You know, be more uh, vigilant, be more sharp around um, the edges so that you can see. You know, uh, doing the things that the Lord delight in, staying focused. You know, being a better watchman. You know, to grow, so that we, like Paul said, that we abound more and more. You know, and that abound more and more means to what? The excellency, man. All right, that are abundantly furnished with, um, to exceed more than exceed than what than what we what we have. All right, to be a better steward toward Yahweh Bashin Shai. You know, to remain. All right. So, Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors. To the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.